Hi, Wranglers. This is Dr. Sellers. And as you know, this week we're celebrating poetry. So I wanted to share with you one of my absolute favorite books by Shel Silverstein, and it's called Where the Sidewalk Ends. When I had, um, when I was younger, I had his whole collection of books, including A Light in the Attic and The Giving Tree and The Missing Piece. And this was, though, my absolute favorite. And as I go forward in the book, I'll take you to the copyright page. And I think this is another thing that I discovered when I was little is that this book was actually written in the year I was born, 1974. And so I always like to think that he wrote this book for me because I loved it so much. But you can actually see that the dedication says that it's for Ursula. Maybe I should try to figure out who Ursula is. So I'm going to take you to one of my favorite poems. It's actually on page 71. And it is called Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout Would Not Take the Garbage Out. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones. Prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of black burned butter toast, gristly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum. Cellophane from green bologna. Rubbery, blubbery macaroni. Peanut butter caked and dry. Curdled milk and crusts of pie. Moldy melons, dried up mustard. Eggshells mixed with lemon custard. Cold french fries and rancid meat. Yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Exactly. And one of the other parts that I love is the illustration of this and just the look of total terror on her face. So I don't know if your chore is to take the garbage out. My kids' chores are to empty the dishwashers and a couple other things about cleaning up after themselves. But I may need to try to write a poem about just take the dishwasher dishes out. Or maybe how about just put away your laundry. But in this case, if your job or your chore is to take the garbage out, try not to end up like Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout.